All right, so exciting times here, Mohawk Valley Farm. We finally got our uh, American Guinea hogs. They um, it took about uh, 10 days longer than I thought. Uh, about 10 days ago, I thought, man, they're, gonna, they're about to be, any second now they're gonna be born. And I have some footage of me sitting out there in the dark and uh, filming, thinking that any minute now, Laverne was gonna give birth to her piglets. And uh, ended up, spent the whole night out there, uh, spent the whole day the next day waiting and waiting and waiting. It never happened. And then we had to take off for a week, uh, took the kids to Disneyland, came back, still hadn't had any pigs. And um, so about, oh, I'd say about 10 days ago now, um, about 10 days after I thought that she would give birth, um, she finally had them. So she ended up having five piglets, uh, four of which made it, one didn't make it. Um, the reason I wanted to kind of be there when she had them is last time she had a couple that didn't make it through the, through the birthing process. And so, but she had little better results this time, four to five uh, survived the, the birth. And so they're growing fast, they're about 10 days old. They're, um, when they come out, they're about the size of a soda can. And right now they're a little bigger than that. So uh, some of my friends have asked me, like, why did we pick the American guinea hog as a uh, pig of choice? Um, partly it was because a friend of ours had them and we wanted to, uh, of course, I always take the easy route and choose the animal that um, is easy to get. <laughs> but we did a little research and the American guinea hog is really, um, it's a good pig to have for a family. It's that they're very well mannered. They, um, they're good with kids. They can really be kind of like a pet. A lot of people used to raise them and just have them in their yard and they would just eat the acorns off the trees. In fact, they've been known to be an acorn hog. Um, they would just, they forage, they graze. So you don't have to feed an American guinea hog as much as you do another pig. Uh, the pigs you see at the fair or 4-H, um, you know, they, those are raised and slaughtered within six months. Um, the American guinea hog, it, you really want them to be a year or two old before you you um, butcher them. And um, so a little slower growing, they get to be a couple hundred pounds, um, maybe two, 300 pounds at the, at the high end. Uh, ours are probably about 200 pounds. So they produce really good meat. Um, they don't really produce great bacon, if that's what you're looking for, but uh, they're, they're kind of considered a lard pig. So if you're into making your own soap and all that, American guinea hog is a good pig for that. So it's part of the heritage breed, good with, good with people, not too overprotective of their babies. Um, yeah, just real friendly. And so that's why we chose them. It was a good fit for us, especially being the first time we've ever raised them. We wanted a pig that wasn't gonna overpower us or, or, or take over. So we've got about, oh gosh, uh, looks like about 12 of them now. Um, we will have our first experience of a, a processing one here next week. Okay, hey, as always, I wanna say thank you for watching our video and uh, be sure to check out some of our other videos on Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching and we'll try to keep you up to date on our new experiences here on the farm.